Happy Wednesday. Hi friends. It is hashtag what's new Wednesday. So here I am to come live this Wednesday afternoon to show you guys some of what's new. Um, I have almost through my stack of books that I have recently um, picked up to share with you all what's new. And then tomorrow, I believe they are going to be starting to sprinkle in our mid season releases, some of which are titles that we as consultants haven't even seen. So watch for some information about those as they drop tomorrow. Um, but for today, I'm gonna to show you guys a handful of books that I have here. And just remember to, I have my um, Cuddle Bear Drive going on. So if you wanna do some shopping for a purpose, um, use the link that I had uh, posted right here in order to shop and 50% of what you spend, um, your full retail amount that you spend will be donated to this drive to purchase more sets of cuddle bears and books um, to be donated to St. Louis Children's Hospital through the end of the week. So if you want to help out with that, be sure to use that link that I had posted there. Let's start with activity books today. Um, so first up, I have Mindful Activities, part of our Mindful um, book series, the Unworry books. Okay, if you've seen those, we have a bunch of different books in this series. Uh, great for lots of different ages. Even many adults would appreciate some of the activities in a book like this one. So this is Mindful Activities, a really fantastic activity book. If you haven't seen our Fold and Fly books, there are so many to choose from. My kids are eating them up. <laughs> there are 100 jet planes to fold and fly. This is our newest one. And there are different styles of folding that you can do in these books. And so if you fold this out and you can see all the different variations that you can get in the book. And then these papers are perforated and there's going to be a little icon here to show you which um, style you're going to be building. And then you go to the corresponding instructions to do that and they fly surprisingly well. We uh, recently did them um, in the backyard and we did a little contest and kind of a little science experiment out of which one flew the best. I forget which one was the winner. <laughs> okay, so next up, one of our newest look and find puzzles. There's a bunch in this series. This one's on animals. So this is gonna help your kiddos with visual discrimination. There are opportunities to count and find things and talk about things and answer questions throughout. These are really great for um, kiddos who you know, maybe you need to build some vocabulary or do some early counting. It is just so much to talk about. Definitely check out all the other books in this series as well. They are a great price point, $6.99. And they're a nice size for like a car or um, maybe a diaper bag. Next up, I have one in our Wipe Clean series, one of our newest in that series, Woodland Activities. They all come with a dry erase marker. Any dry erase marker will do. Um, these are great for, I would say, ages two, three, and up, depending on the child. And there are a variety of activities that are not only fun, but educational. And there are beautiful illustrations throughout. So we have tracing opportunities that are going to help with pen control and spotting the difference. And dot to dot, which is going to help with counting. And mazes, which is also helpful with pen control and um, tracing numbers and lots of different fun activities. There are so many in the, in the series, basically something for every interest. So check those out. All right, next I have Marvels of the USA activity book, 50 fun activities, puzzles, and quizzes. So this is going to be maybe for a little older, probably seven or eight and up. There are some more detailed activities to do. Kids can do them in any order. These are great to have on hand maybe for a road trip or a plane trip um, if you're doing some travels. We personally love going to national parks. Our family wants to go to every single national park and um, this is going to be a great one to have on hand for all of our upcoming road trips and things. Um, Marvels of the USA. All right, next I'm going to move on to some nonfiction reads. Just a couple of these today. Um, so here we have one in our Lift the Flat First Questions and Answers series, Why Do We Need Trees? So there's lots of other um, tree books that are coming out and just highlighting the importance of trees. I always share my tip with our Lift the Flat books. Before you hand this to a child who's maybe new to flaps, go ahead and open up all those flaps for them so that they don't tear them um, because that can happen. We do have a 50% replacement warranty on our books. If any of your books become damaged for any reason, just reach out and I can help you get a replacement. Um, but this is going to be covering lots of different topics related to trees, forests, rainforests, things that um, 
even you um, are gonna learn some new things as you go through this with your special little reader. Why do we chop down trees, either to use their wood or use the land they're on for other things such as farming or buildings? Why is this forest burning? Pretty awesome. So lots of different questions um, that your kids might be wondering themselves and they get to lift a flap and learn the information. All right, this one's pretty cool. We have a whole series of these getting started with some topic um, book. This is our getting started with our world book, part of our Usborne STEM books. All right, let me show you guys um, just kind of the topic outlines here. So this is all about like our world and um, finding your place in it and learning about different parts of our world, oceans, countries, people and places, um, you know, different landscapes and weather that you're gonna find all around the world and how it's different. So if you were like a world traveler or maybe you're not ready for world travel yet, you can get your kiddos um, interested in this topic of finding out how things are different in different parts of the world. So this is a really cool little hardback getting started with our world book. And then next up in our nonfiction books that I grab, lots of things to know about animals. So we, we have lots of different trivia in this book related to animals. I love the graphic um, style of the illustrations in this book. Lots of little tidbits to learn. So every spread is going to be a little different on a different topic or theme. How do prairie dogs say hello? And then just kind of like how animals communicate in general. Why sloths turn green in the rain? What makes flamingos pink? animal life in a land of ice. So, so much to explore on these different animals, just burning questions that kids have about animals. Um, great for your little trivia um, fanatics. All right, and then I grabbed several picture books. My Beautiful Voice is about a child who um, is a little bit like either nonverbal or shy, um, isn't ready to speak in class, but they have this brand new teacher who is very vibrant and inspirational and gets this child um, doing some poetry. And through poetry, the child um, does kind of gain some confidence and does go ahead and share that poetry in front of the class, um, which is really wonderful to see how they find their voice and how their voice ends up being really, really beautiful. Love that message. All right, next up I have, hi Jenna, I have the smile. And this one is all about just the power of the smile and how it's contagious and how we can spread smiles um, by doing acts of kindness, um, making people who are sad happier, and just um, even across the world, just things we can do like send a letter and how that can um, bring a smile to someone's face, even if they're far away. Um, and just doing things for other people. So smiles travel the world. Super, super awesome. I love that message too. All right, Who Are You really is a great conversational book um, that gets kids talking and having dialogue on lots of different things um, that make them unique and just like learning about how other kids are different and um, you know what makes us all special. What do you like about your hair? Just so many questions. Um, who takes good care of you? Who has your back? Who makes you giggle? Who hugs you tight? Who would you put in your picture? So again, if you have a kiddo that is maybe um, shy or needs to build some dialogue and vocabulary, this is a really great talk about book. There's a lot to talk about. There are many questions um, you know, that you can choose from on each page to get kiddos talking about what makes them special, what makes their friends special, and what makes them unique. Really, really awesome. All right, next I have We're Moving House. Um, this is a really great little read for anybody who is, you know, getting ready for a move. Kind of talks about the different the different things that go into preparing for a move, you know, moving away from neighbors, but, you know, things like your neighbor can visit sometimes, helping kiddos through the anxieties of um, moving and what all the changes that happen, and just preparing for a move so they know what to expect and like meeting new friends, 
and things like that. So this is a really, really great book to have on hand um, for families that are going to be moving or to gift to someone who might be moving soon with their kiddos. All right, next up I have This Boy Can Be Anything and This Girl Can Do Anything. They are written very similarly. I'll show you This Boy Can Be Anything. So it's just kind of talking through this boy coming into his personality and how he can be anything that he wants to be. Um, but there are some times when you're not feeling ready or there's some times when you're, you know, you might feel emotional and what to do about that. And it shows um, different ways that the parents are encouraging them and um, helping them to understand that, you know, when you're bored, it's a great time to use your imagination and things like that. So um, just learning about how you can come in your own personality and discover more about yourself and be whatever you want to be um, and cope through um, different feelings. Um, as you go throughout your life as a little person who is growing up. All right, next uh, picture book, I have a splash. You'll notice the little girl um, has one arm and then one um, partial arm. However, this book isn't about her difference. Instead, it's about a little girl who is, um, you know, she likes doing all these different things but she's afraid to get in the pool at first. Um, and it doesn't really explain like why she's afraid or anything like that, but um, it just kind of ex explains how she does eventually like dip her toe in and she gets in the pool and she try she's trying something new and she learns that she loves it. And she um, ends up with this new dream to, to be a good swimmer and to do competitions and things like that. It's just about like trying something new, you know, taking risks because you might actually love it in the end. So it's really cool that this is a book about a child who is a little bit different, but the book isn't about her difference necessarily. It's more about just trying something new and um, sticking with it, just taking risks and things like that. All right, and finally, I'm gonna show you guys, um, we have uh, some new books that were added to our Fairy Unicorn series. These are some of the older ones um, that were in the series, but they're written by that Zana Davidson, who also does our Sticker Dolly Stories, which there's a ton of books in that series. Um, and she also does um, Fairy Unicorns. So these are really great little books that are fantastic for kiddos who are becoming confident readers. There's a lot of pictures. Hi, Sejla. There's pictures throughout. There are some colors and things that highlight those illustrations. Um, and these are great little adventure stories with some magic and fun and thrill and adventure. Um, I think that they could probably be read in any order. Um, but like I said, they just added a couple. This is one of the newest ones that they've added to this fantastic series. So go check these out if you have a kiddo, maybe six or seven and up, who's either a confident reader or um, maybe you could read them together. So fantastic new books like i mentioned there are going to be some new ones dropping tomorrow they're going to be starting to pull out or bring out our mid-season releases and if you have interest in doing some shopping this week i encourage you to do so at the link that i provided here in the description of this video um so you can benefit my cuddle bear drive and then what i'm thinking is on friday before i go into the weekend i want to do my feature friday on cuddle bear specifically so definitely come check that out on friday all right, friends, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your week.